Okay, so this is something interesting that I picked up today in TK Maxx, and it cost me £2.99. And it is pan de higo con almenedras, which is literally translated means fig bread with almonds. Now, I don't think there's a slice of bread in here, but I think I do know what this is. So let's open it up and have a look. Actually, let's have a look at the ingredients first. So the in ingredients are figs, almonds, cinnamon, and aniseed. Those are four things I like. So let's have a look and see what it actually is inside. So yes, what we've got inside is a block of compressed figs and almonds. Can I help you? Can I help you at all? No? Okay. Should we get on with the filming? So yes, it's a block of compressed figs and almonds. So let's get that on a plate and have open it up and have a little taste. So this, I believe, is almost like a, um, a little sweet treat or something. That's interesting, it's wrapped twice. That's good, I suppose. So let's just chop off a couple of bits. Very, very firm texture. Oh, it smells good. So there we go. Let's try a bit. Just Let's just taste a little piece. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's really, really good. Hmm. Now, combination of flavours there figs and I can't taste the cinnamon but I can taste the anise. Mm, really good. Now I suspect, or at least I believe, that this is something that's designed to go with a nice little cup of coffee. So we have a very sweet treat and a very bitter cup of strong coffee. Let's give that a try. Mm. That's really good. So there we go. That's first, I've heard of this before, that's the first time I've tried it. Panda Eo. So it's been quite a while since we checked in on the Magic Bean, in fact, and all the other gardening projects that are on the go here. So this is the Magic Bean plant. Unfortunately, the little seed leaf at the bottom there, which was engraved with a heart, has now withered and fallen off entirely. But look how big the plant is now. It's actually needs to be hardened off and planted out in the garden, I think. I think it's a French bean, so I imagine we'll get some beans that we can eat from it. My little blood orange tree is not looking too happy, but I think it might come back. Just needs a bit of water. The palm seedlings are producing now their fourth leaf. Both of them have got a new leaf spike coming up in the middle there. So they're looking good too. Right, I just want to show you something here. I've walked past this a hundred times. A thousand times probably. There's a row of trees here. They're lime trees down the side of this street. And there's one tree in particular here that has a rather unusual feature. Now I'm not sure how well you're going to see this on the camera, but perhaps if we get in close you can see this tree is an unusual shape. It's flat and then it's flat again and it has a third flat side here and then a fourth flat side here. And so, yeah, I don't know how well you can, oh, you can really see it there, I think. So this is a tree with a trunk that is square in section. The odd thing is you can't see it from a distance. From here, there's nothing unusual at all about that, that tree, is there? 
and yet when we get up close you can see how square it is. Look at that. So if you needed one that's an excuse to get close to trees and you really can see how rectilinear the section of this tree is, can't you? And it goes all the way up to the first branches like that. And so what's going on here? So why have we got a tree that's got a square trunk? Has something constrained it to grow in that shape? No, I don't think so. Actually, I think what's happened here is this tree, lime trees, what you've got here is a root at the corners there. And these roots form sort of look almost like buttresses. And it just happens that there have been four of them equally spaced around the circumference of the tree. And that has caused it to bulge out at four directions, at four corners. And so we've ended up with a tree that has, well, the four bulges on the normally round cross section has made it square. So how about that? A square tree. So I was just reviewing the video I've shot so far and I'm not sure it came across all that well exactly how square this tree was. So I've come back here with a measuring device so that you can see what I'm talking about. We are talking about a tree that is very flat on the sides and So I don't know if that illustrates it any better. We are talking about a tree with very flat sides. It's not perfectly square. So yeah, there's a little bit of divergence just over there. But there we go, so it's quite flat on the sides and quite square. So that's the square tree. 